best friend Chuck uh, and uh, Helen came out. And Helen, I found this out later from my mom, years later. Uh, Helen didn't want to come out. The, the ambulance, uh, the people had phoned my family, my parents, so they knew what had gone on. So, uh, and I don't know if they phoned Helen, but my mom called Helen and asked her if she'd come out. And Helen said, why should I? He's the one who left me. And my mom said, because I, I'm asking you to. Uh, so she did. She, she came out with Chuck for, Chuck stayed for a week. And then Helen stayed for uh, the first, those three weeks until I could get an ambulance jet back. I was on this ward in this hospital for three weeks and uh, it, I would say it's without a doubt the worst three weeks of my life because as soon as I woke up uh, in that air, airplane, in that jet, my whole body was in enormous pain. There was a burning going on and crazy sweats going and I couldn't control my bladder or my bowels. Uh, I couldn't move any of that so I had identified myself up to that point as, a, as an able-bodied male and uh, I realized now how privileged I was, this white guy who could go all over the world, get jobs when and where he wanted and take off when he wanted uh, and had this enormous freedom which I had identified with my able body that was gone. I was uh, suddenly uh, and irreversibly in this paralyzed body uh, with a whole new set of sensations I'd never experienced before uh, and totally helpless to do anything about it. And I was on what was called a striker frame, uh, which was basically a metal frame and every four hours they would close the, the top lid and flip my whole body over so that I wouldn't be getting any pressure sores. Uh, and every fourth hour, this doing that, uh, instantly felt like the whole weight of the world was on my chin and my forehead. And I had to hang like that for, for four hours and the pain was just agony, overwhelming, uh, along with all these other crazy body pains and shivers and bowel things happening. Um, so for that first week, Leslie, uh, every four hours when she was there, she was putting towels and Kleenex and everything in, in between me and the striker to try and ease the pain a little bit. So this was hell, flipping me over onto my tummy and the weight of the world on my face, and flipping me back was heaven. Uh, and ever since then, I, I have these experiences where my body can do very strange physical things, and it can be like hell. And once it's relieved, it feels like heaven. So it's been this crazy flip-flop ever since then and learning how to deal with that flip-flop in some kind of a, of a healthy way that's been one of my biggest tasks put your heart in every day Will they say you learn a lesson every day?